We are here. We are here for the last game of pool play between San Francisco Fog and the Northern Lights. Northern Lights currently undefeated. Fog two and one. So if they win this game, they're just gonna go to tiebreakers. And I believe, I'm not sure who would win out, but either way, Blanchard tapping out point defenders. Nice dodge, oh, nope. Still to beat Beeler, Mendelssohn misses, but nice finish there by Vershear. Beaters got distracted by themselves and Vershear capitalizes. That is 10 nothing. Good job by the ARs to mean to keep their hands in the air like they just don't care until Tommy sees that the ball went through. John Judd with the quaffle passes over to Thura. Sully beat out. Mendelssohn pressuring, passes back to Judd. Blanchard in the way, pass across of Ellis. Ellis scores. Slightly off target beat. Nice finish there by Fogg. Good eyes by Judd. It is 10 all. Blanchard and Mendelssohn looking to regain Bludger control. Beat out Thura. Beat out Selly. Wallace passes back. Sutorius to Gminiak. Gminiak across to Wallace. Picked off by Ellis. Ellis off to the races. Nice! Backhanded tackle. Nice, but better finish by Ellis. Great attempt there. Not quite enough. Gonna move the camera slightly so we don't have a Cornelia in the way. Yeah, I guess technically Wallace did make back contact, but it was his own back, and so because he did it himself, it's fine. Thurus stepping to Wallace. Wallace passing back to Satorius. Satorius. As Sully off to the right. Mendelssohn hunting in the backfield. Fiona tagging back in. Only three Quaffle players for Northern Lights. Back up to four. Satorius has a lane. Beeler gets distracted, but pass into the backfield. Wallace, no look, no goal. Nice attempt, Ellis. Smart handoff. Sully beating out a lot of players in transition. Judd has an open lane. Judd, nice shot. I told Judd I want him to dunk, and I think this is personal at this point. He's been making nothing but great mid-range shots. Either way, it is 30-10. San Francisco coming out with fire in their veins. Satorius passes to Soleil. Soleil has Richie passes to him he has an angle he's going he fired it's no good right into judd's waiting arms dives for it clean play recovered by judd fog looking to keep up this pressure they're up 30 10. this is a great opening from fog passes to thura thura Given a lane by Beeler. Beeler making the safe play. Malloy fighting Selly. So Blanchard is the only bludger in play. Judd streaking around the left side. Judd passes the backfield. Ellis blocked by Richie. Good hands. Dangerous pass to Satorius, but it's fine. Oh, sorry, that's not Richie, that's Stevenson. My apologies, he looks very similar to Richie, who plays for OC. Clear. Northern Lights able to regain bludger control. Pass too high for Soleil, but she's got the hustle, she's got the ball. Nice wrap, nice arms by Ellis. Wraps up Soleil's arms, but great beating from Northern Light. Selly has the bludger. Looks like Quaffle is going to Soleil. Yeah, in Soleil's hands. Nice bludger coverage there. Selly has the bludger somehow. I guess he handed it out. Does Has Stevenson to pass to. Soleil gonna make a quick pass. Let's see if Ellis can stop it. Nope. Good ball positioning. Reset use. Stevenson has it. Nice. 
snipe there steal. by Beeler. Nice beat by Sally. Beeler in the middle. There's going to be a call on the play. Likely against lights. Otherwise, there would have been advantage called. it happened in front of the San Francisco bench. I've got this battery charging up as well. Let's see if we can make this work. Battery struggles. Problem with every field is we don't have outlets to rely on, so all I have is a battery pack. And as pretty as it is, it is very temperamental. Absolutely no risk for the live stream to go down. It's the HD footage we want to keep going. But it's pool play. This game does matter. We're saving our best batteries for bracket play. We may lose the back half of this game. Thura and Brittany, both with pants. Who else gonna judge for wearing pants? It is damn near 100 degrees right now. I do not understand what they're doing. Oh, Brittany also with long sleeves. She's not gonna get a sunburn, but at what cost? last name without it in front of me, so give Sanke. me a second. Masanke, yes, you're correct. Absolutely excellent player. I forget if this is her first or second season up in the Bay Area, but... Similar build to the Chang, Asher, Bogart of nothing but hustle. Beeler with a great game today as well the voted on West All-Stars by all the captains in the region. You can check that out on the USQ West page. It's our first attempt to do something like this. I think it could use some refinement, but as a whole, I love the idea of it. Stevenson with the quaffle. We're about to resume play. Monson providing him the pocket he needs to stay unpressured. Passes over to Satorius. Immediately marked by Thura. Passes back. Stevenson looking into the backfield, has Soleil back there. Brayer off to his left, hands off to Satorius. Thura goes, nice block by Beeler! Exclamation from the fog sideline about the playing after beat before the beat call was made. Teams were warned yesterday about making ref calls. We'll see if that warning comes out again. Either way, great beating there by Beeler to maintain Bludger and turn fast enough to stop it. Beats Monson. But Malloy is there to protect it. Nice catch by Malloy. Nice job there. That was a that was a free shot there by Malloy. He had another one at his feet. It was worth the shot. Good job by Judd to keep eyes and dodge it. Oh, Selly was in the box. Back in play. So even more impressive play from Beeler with, with that bit of information. Fog has a slightly new line with Anchetta in the backfield. Passes to Thura. Thura passes to Ellis. Bobble dropped. That's why you use two hands, kids. As pretty as it might look to make a one-handed catch, it is dangerous, and you can throw away a play real quick. Satorius, it is still 30-10. No one scored for a hot second. Again, it is 30-10. Northern Lights up. Unrau in with Malloy beating. Nice beat by Malloy. Clearing a lane, Satorius not able to get past Thura. Thura tapped out. 
Monroe and Selly facing off. Nice job by Beeler. Nice job by Selly. There are no bludgers in Judd's way. Passes over to Thurrow. A little bit out of his hands. Thurrow with it. Thurrow dancing. Thurrow going. Thurrow passing. Nice! There we go. Judd finishes. Good passing back and forth. A little dangerous there, but there was no blood on the play, so they had time to play. We've got I want to pull their name up. Anna Wright. Number 37 chasing in the pink shorts for Northern Lights. Sully with the ball. Anna had a great day yesterday. I didn't know her name very well, so I didn't call it out enough. Want to make sure I do now. Anna Wright, 37, left side, past the backfield. Passes to Wright, Wright passes back up to Sully. Sully has a lane! Sully fires, misses. Vershear picked up by Ong. Nice beating there, good patience. Nice tackle by Sully. Great positioning, nice clean up by Colin Casey. Picked up. Passes back to Harris. Harris fires. That one's good. Uh, hand up from the refs. We'll see what that call is. Harris. Streaky player, but if he's on, good lord. He is as dangerous from deep as anyone else at this tournament. Number two, Kalen Ta. With a nice pass to Harris. Able to corral a high pass. Tricky to do, but a very important skill for off-ball chasers to have because your ball carrier might not give you the greatest pass. And it is unfortunately your job to make it look better than it is. No call on the play. Austin Wallace arguing because it's fun for him. <laughs> De I guess defending his beater from nothing. Always appreciated to have your speaking captain stick up for you no matter what, though. It is 50-10, fog up. Nice pass back to Unruh to make sure that Northern Lights have a bludger in position. Ong windmilling it. Malloy doesn't throw. Malloy a dangerous catching beater. And fog has bludger control, so it's smart to maintain here. Kalen pressuring at point. Sully breaks pass. Over to right, nice cle beating cleanup. There is a bludger in the way, but the pass is off center, and so Harris has some time. Harris, nice beat there by Unrau, but it only hit the quaffle over top. Great job by the Northern Lights chasers to slow down and wrap up Harris. Nice cross field beat by Unrau to shut that down. You don't always hit the player if you can knock the ball out of their hands. Saltzman in. Saltzman, veteran presence. Possible first beater to wear the scrum cap that I can remember. Now we got a lot of Northern Lights wearing that head protection. Sully passes to Vershear. Vershear looking with his options. Nice beat, pass to the backfield. Nice beat, nice shot, no good. Picked up by Sully. Sully. Great job switching hands to maintain control of the quaffle and dunk through traffic. Looks like they might be debating a beat before goal and one of the lights players that might have affected that play. I'd say I think the only the only beat before that really should affect plays on Sully, and I don't think I saw a beat on them. They're shaking their head. They don't they didn't feel one either. They are wearing tank tops. You can feel a lot more bludgers. Oh, good Lord, it's 102 degrees right now. We're going to have a heat timeout pretty soon. Head ref talking to Unrau about something. Hey, tomorrow it's going to be a high of 89 in Toronto. But uh, the weather really did not want to make this tournament easy for our no, players. No, but it will make our beach day much more pleasant tomorrow. We're also going to be in the Santa Monica area, so it's probably going to be down near close to 80. Brought to you by the coldest summer of the rest of our lives. And 
invest in and support in green technology, please, for the sake of everybody. And we're back in play. Goal was called no good. There was a beat before somewhere in the play to shut that down. It is still 50-10. Fog with a commanding lead on this game. Ong running way off. We've got an air horn off to the side. That does not matter, though. Ong is coming in from behind. There's an open field. And Chetta with her hands raised. Pass to Bridgestrup. Bridgestrup fires. Bridgestrup, good. Great job there by Ong to beat out the chasers trying to defend the small hoop, giving Bridgestrup that clear shot. Lights time out. Ong been doing a great job on the pitch and in the commentating seat this weekend. We are at the 10 minute mark, so this is gonna be the minute timeout followed immediately by the minute water break. Both teams with canopies on the sidelines, absolutely vital. Again, it's 102 degrees here in this. Torrance, California. This video continues in part two. <laughs> Actually, I'll keep this charging until we have to pop the fountain. Charge, bitch. Charge. Oh, it's fully charged. Let's find out. Oh, you were technically doing this one. But if you were just sit in the shade, I'm very happy to do that. I think. Yeah, y'all are the first game. Y'all are playing, I believe, the winner of this game. You're four seed. Whoever wins this is one seed. Automatically. I believe so. No, because. Oh, Utah's also three and one. So actually. Oh! Is right. Fog if wins. Fog wins this game, we have three teams at three and one. And so uh, Steve and Lindsay get to do math. I think. I'll be honest. Actually, I think. Actually, I think it also depends on the score of this game. I think if Northern Lights, Northern Lights was the highest scoring team yesterday. So if they need to be able to score enough points to maintain that. Otherwise, I'm not sure who had the second most. I think it might go to Ye I forget who beat who beat who. Talking to Sally yesterday, um, he was saying that if uh, Fog is trailing at 20 minutes, but they win against Northern Lights, that would make them Okay, that makes sense. Okay. I'm not sure. So we'll figure out the tiebreakers after this game because Fog needs to win for that to be in the conversation. Fog with bludger control. Vershear with the quaffle. Passes back up to Wallace. Wallace met by Kalen. Spins around her and Bridgestrup. Pass over top to Sully. Sully fires to the middle hoop. And Northern Lights regain bludger control. Nice beating there by Unrau and Saltzman. Veteran duo. Unrau from BC, Saltzman from, I believe, I forget where they live now. It's somewhere in the Pacific Northwest. Might be Seattle, Portland area, either way, someplace far cooler than where we are right now. Nice beat. Cullen with no immunity, unable to claim it. Third bludger is deep in the light zone. Fog taking their time yeah. and resetting setting all the way back. Bridstrup about to get a warning to not delay game. Ong sprinting into the backfield to get that third bludger. Pressure from Saltzman. Pass goes deep to Anchetta. Anchetta has it spinning around through contact. Keeps her arm free. Nice beating there by Saltzman. Sully has a free reign. Just has to beat Harris. <laughs> I like the attempted punk fake from Ong. Nice finish there by Sully. 
It is 60-30. Northern Lights closing in. Fiona and Mendelssohn back in, chasing and beating respectively. We've got Harry Dill in at beater with Shannon Ong, a tried and true cow pair. Looking to regain bludger control. Pass goes into the backfield for Harris. Harris spinning around. Pass goes up to Anchetta. Anchetta hooks it through. Great wow, finish by great, Stephanie. Great goal. Gonna confirm, make sure that one counted, but I that looked good to me. That was a nice hook from Anchetta. Yeah, I saw a few a few assistant refs throw their arms in the air. Whose name was I looking up? I was looking up someone's name. I can't remember who. I see him up on the hill in the shade next to the person standing in the pink shirt and jeans. Probably with him. Right now, it, the scoreboard says 70-30 fog up. Head ref Tommy Brown still discussing to make sure adding extra canopies on the sidelines. That is the Lost Boys canopy that has seen better days, has a nice lightning rod in the top of it. Stephanie, another player we can shame for wearing black pants on 100 degree weather. 102 degree weather, but she don't care. Not sure what's in the fog water, but a lot of them are wearing pants. Doesn't slow her moves on the dance floor or on the pitch. I'm very glad I zoomed in to capture that <laughs> dance moment. Pass to Soleil, Malloy and Mendelssohn with the bludgers. Pressuring Fogg back into their zone. Pass to Vershear, Vershear back up top. That is reset used. No pass to no one because it was very clearly in the middle of Wallace and Heaney. Riddell in the backfield with Vershear. Pass to Vershear. Riddell cutting in. Marking the small hoop. Fires the pass. Wallace there to stop it from crossing mid-pitch. Pass back to Vershear. Vershear fires. No good. Bounces off the hoop. Picked up by Bridstrup. Subs for Fog. We've got... Brittany, Jaime, Max, and Lorena in. Sanke and Alman floating into the backfield. Madrano causing pressure. Two bludgers on Fogg's half. That should be easy recovery. Not as easy because Malloy's got speedy feet. Now Mendelssohn pressured by Dill. Dill able to pick it up. Smart play staying on Quaffle. Howard beat. Passed back to Bridstrip in time. Fog maintained possession. They are up 70-30. Nice catch by Jaime. Jaime. Fantastic job switching hands. Finishing through contact. Great, great finish. 80-30. Fog up. Sutorius back in. Maloney and Monson looking for bludger control. Dill absorbing Jake's pressure. Wallace pass back to the middle. Sutorius wrapped up, passes off, passes back. Ball on the ground, kicked. Fiona beat out before they can get to the quaffle. Pass back, and Max has it. That's going to be a nice defensive set. Ugo Kiros in. 
for Fog. Long-time beater partner with Lorena Medrano. The two of them together are extremely dangerous, and they have bludger control. Howard getting a nice escort in. Cutting across, bridge strip going down. They're all driving through. Nice wrap by Heaney. Beat, missed, pass to bridge strip, bridge strip. Tragic miss there from the Northern Lights allows Jaime to get a great pass off. Good drive to draw pressure from Howard. Great team play across the board. Fog up 90 30. Northern Lights looking to recapture the magic they had yesterday. They looked untouchable. It looks like Fog has their number. And that number is 90 to 30, and they're up in this game. I thought you were going to say that number is 9 1 1 because they're murdering them. Oh, it also been a good one. Pass to the corner to Wallace. Wallace dancing through pressure. Gets the pass off. Picked up by Sutorius. Monson giving him space. Malloy and Monson with the bludgers. Wrap, tap. Lorraine is beat out. Sutorius. Waiting for Monson. Nice footwork there by Ugo to avoid the pressure. Pass, nice jump there by Howard to snake that pass out of the air. Howard unable to play for Fog last year due to a busy schedule, finally able to do it. And he is showing up big this weekend. Another West All-Star, longtime Silicon Valley Viper player, excellent keeper, excellent seeker, excellent ball carrier in general. Nice catch by Ugo. Max dancing through, spinning, pass across to Jaime. Jaime, nice finish. Howard excited. Howard, an absolutely deadly driver with an incredible passing touch. Blanchard back in, buckles on his headgear, ready to go with Unrau. They're taking their time. Right and Brayer, right tapped out. Brayer cutting to take that open hole. Beats on the ground. Richardson has it. Richardson, nice finish. Nice attempt by Jaime to slow him down, but nice dribbling finish. Lorena and Jaime subbing out for Thomas Chang Davidson and Stephanie Anchetta back into play. 17 minutes on the clock. It is 100 to 40. Thomas and Ugo, two very strong throwing arms. Richard Stevenson beat. I'll get his name correct at some point. He's had a great weekend. I need to do better about that. Howard looking for his options. Right, beat. Satorius, good footwork. Nice beating there by Unrau. Stephanie fires. Stephanie with her second goal of the game. That is 110 to 40. I think that's the second time Stephanie's had the ball in her hands, and that's the second goal Stephanie's had. Blanchard, nice catch by Blanchard! That's bludger control! Oh, Joe! It looks like Sam is going to talk about potential third bludger play, but as Sam Selly correctly points out, everything was on the ground. Joe wasn't manipulating anything other than our hearts. For my money, Joe has been the best performing beater at this tournament, and this has been a tournament of nothing but incredible beater play. Joe, a core part of why the Northern Lights have done so well. They need to, him to put on his best game of the day if they want to come back from this 70-point deficit against Fog. Only a couple minutes left to get that goal line closer because whatever it is, it's going to be plus seven. No call on the play. Correctly pointed out by Selly. Again, speaking captains. 
You're allowed to call out some things to the refs to make sure that they understand the whole thing. Their refs are under no obligation to listen to you, but at least it makes your players feel better. Satori is going. A lot of blood is on the ground. Great lane cleared. Great lane cleared by Unrau. Sutorius takes advantage of it. Uh, looks like some eyes were on some physical play on the other side, but ARs had their eyes on it, so that goal is called good. That's why you want to have a ton of refs, and it is 110 to 50. Fog chirping at the head ref, saying that they want to make sure his eyes on the plate, but he's wearing sunglasses. Who knows where his eyes are? Thomas and Ugo looking to get back ledger control before the 20 minute mark. High beat doesn't matter. Unrau had the ball, goes up. Brittany has it right into the hands of Satorius. There is no bludgers in his way, but there's a call on the play. Fresh box has been delivered to my home. Oh, it's tragic. Which means it's going to be out there all day. Yeah. Look, I mean, it does have the, the ice packs in there. It has multiple ice packs, but still, it is 100 degrees. So, we'll see. We'll see how many of my raw meats survive. It sounds like, it sounds like that one's going to be good by fresh. Also, speaking from experience, the Hello Fresh meats are not always the uh, most fresh to begin with. This tournament or stream are not sponsored by HelloFresh. Explicitly not sponsored, and we are not going for that sponsorship. Unless they pay us money. Yes, HelloFresh, uh, drop us a line. I'm not sure where you can find the lineups, but you can find the complete rosters on the Western Championship Quidditch Facebook page. I believe we are trying to get it changed to Western Championship Quad Ball. Facebook is very slow at approving changes. There was no goal on the play, blocked by Satorius. Satorius has the ball ahead of every single Fog player, except for Anchetta. Turns, nice blind pass to Stevenson. Eats the beat, wrapped by Ellis. Gets the ball out just in time. Right, hunting. Nice. Dodge there by Howard. Oh, Howard, does he do it? Going, dancing through. Passes to Ellis, good positioning over top to Enchetta. Enchetta has Brittany, but passes back to Howard up top. Nice beat by Unrau to shut down the play. Picked up. Woo, dancing feet picked up by Brittany. Brittany has it wrapped immediately. Pops the ball out. Ellis has it. That was a nice hit by Wright. I think Brittany had a clear shot at a goal if she didn't wrap there. Wow, that ball changed so many hands in so little time. I'll say Fogg are shooting themselves in the foot if they leave Brittany hovering by hoops the entire time without feeding her the ball. She's had open shots a couple times at this point. They have the ball. Ellis is going to look downfield. Anchetta and Masanke back there. Passes up to Howard. Bludger high. Bludger dropping. Uh, oh, there was a call on Blanchard at some point. Third Bludger by the hoops. Nothing in Howard's way, though. Nice score. Thomas doing a great job buying Unrau's attention, giving Howard an uncontested sprint to the hoops. We've got new keeper for Fog. That's Sam Harris wearing the green. We are coming up to the 20 minute mark. This is the last play before we add seven. Malloy going for a napalm. Selly passes over top to Davids, Chang Davidson. Nice job there. Satorius goes, Satorius blocked, recovered, 
set score will be 190. It is currently 120 to 50. Fog with a commanding lead coming into this break. Corny, what the hell do lights have to do other than play like they did yesterday? It, things just don't seem to be connecting for them on offense, and I think they're really underutilizing the back half of the court. Um, we see that on the fog side, we, they have all that ball movement behind the hoops, mm -hmm. which really throws the, the lights defense out, out of position. Uh, but Northern Lights seems to have a very like straightforward approach from the front side of the hoops the entire time. They don't move the ball around as much, which leaves Fog to do their thing on defense and just sit sit tight around their hoops and, and knock things out. Yeah, they've only really, the only times they've attempted to go backfield is quick passes to Vershear, who immediately passes back up top. We've got our snitch, Christian Kreger. Kreger will be facing off against, I'm assuming, Vershear and Stevo. Tommy, with the countdown, can everybody get back to their brooms in time? No, it's gonna be. Sully versus Stevo against Kreger. There is a broom just sitting on the field. Everybody else has one. I have no idea what's going on. It looks like there's only five Fog players out there. Oh, yeah. Only five Fog players out there. Thank you, Alex, for pointing that out. Either way, nice job by Sammy Beeler. Gets bludger control right in time for snitch on pitch. Harris holding the quaffle, passing over to Ellis. Kaminsky not gonna get a shot. Steve-O not gonna get a shot. Ooh, nice backhanded block from Sam Selly. Sam squared, looking to create a bubble for Steve-O. Harris taking his sweet go, time. Kreger with very, very, very good hands, keeping Stevo from getting a reach around. Uh, that is a turnover. Stevenson with the ball. Nice attempted catch there by Malloy. Nice goal there. Good job by Stevenson. Nice dodge on that beat. It is 120-60. Sully not get letting Sully get anywhere close. We've got Steve Owen a 1v1 with Kreger. Absolutely no pressure from the fog side or from the light side. Fog has a great bubble. Blanchard coming in. Sammy and Blanchard beat Steve O off broom. Bludger picked up by Malloy. Bludger control maintained by Fog. Harris passed to Thura. Oh, Sully had a hot second. Sully with a slide, that's not going to be head beat. That is not going to be a face beat because it's a slide given those rules. Either way, Howard now in seeking. That's a 1v1. Howard with much longer arms, getting close, but Craig is doing a great job. Uh, that's going to be no good. Yank the shorts down before the pull. That's going to be no good right now. Thura, nice block by Satorius. So the seeker was just beat before. Oh, also definitely gonna be no good. Oh, nice duck by Sully. They have a 1v1. Great beat there by Sully. Sully, Sully, Sam. A lot of S's out there. A lot of hustle. Howard in a 1v1 with the snitch. Stevenson with the second goal. Nice beat. Was it in time? That's gonna be a bang, bang. Looks like one ref is calling that no good. Not sure what it's gonna be. It is 120-70. Stevenson with both goals of post-snitch on pitch play. Doing a great job capitalizing on the bludger uh, distraction. If that beat was in time, fantastic there by Saltzman. If not, great diving catch by Howard. 
Dog holds on for the win at this point. I believe he'll be the number one seed, if I'm correct. I don't remember who won all day one. And so, so the I know that Avalanche beat Fog. So Avalanche beat Fog, Lights beat Avalanche. And if Fog wins this game, which they are currently in position to do. Man, the West has got to stop doing this. The number of 3-1 tiebreakers we've had this calendar year alone, or I guess this, yeah, this calendar year, because I think the same thing happened at regionals, and that was also in 2022. Beat before. Great, great beater coverage from Saltzman. Fog, I believe, is main, maintains bludger control. It looks like... Selly and Beeler have it. Saltzman. Oh, Saltzman. Found a headband on the ground. Tossing the other one out there. Not sure. Assuming that's his original one. Nice! Oh, almost caught by Selly. Nice trade. Oh, better trade for Northern Lights. They get bludger control. Beeler gets Malloy. Beat out. Howard. Howard and Sully both there. Howard beat out. Sully has a 1v1. Oh, Sully almost has it. Sully beat out. Thorough with the ball. Sprinting past Fiona. Pass to Kalen. Pass back to Thorough. Thorough pass over top. Recovered by Harris. Harris dancing around pressure over top to Kalen. Kalen, nice goal. A lot of bodies on the ground. No, you didn't. No, that was that catch was Play way was so after stopped, the, the, the whistle. <laughs> whistle. Whistle blows. Then oh. Breaker stops. Then Max pulls. It looks like the whistle stopped because the bludger popped. Yeah. Yeah, Howard pulled the snitch well after play was stopped. Yeah, set score is 190. It is currently 120-70. No one has scored since Stevenson's two quick goals at the start of snitch on pitch. Gominski and Howard, no beaters in their immediate vicinity, but there is going to be a three count before they can approach Kreger. And uh, Selly is the only beater with a bludger. Beeler has the inside line on that third. Oh, both bludgers are down. It should be easy bludger control for Fog. I assume Beeler is going to go for that red one in front and make Malloy go back. That's going to take a quick step. Oh, nice toss. Good job there. Nice wrap by Saltzman. Giving Sully time, but Beeler's there. Nice beater coverage. Sutorius beat from across the pitch. That was a long, that was throw way after that's going to be fog ball. Great beat there from Sally. Nice handoff. Great beater play from the Sams these past 10 seconds. Thura passes to Harris. Harris not looking. Harris beat out by Saltzman. Stevo has a moment alone with Kreger. Nice beat by Saltzman. Sutorius driving, wrapped, spins, finishes. 130-80. Sully beat before the catch. Oh, also off broom. Nice attempt there at the end, but gonna be called no good. Again, 130 90. Lights has done a great job narrowing the gap. If they can pull 
they're gonna come right back in this game. Oh, 13080, my apologies. Oh, nice catch, catch by Malloy. Beeler has to beat out Sully here. Beats out Sully. No bludgers looking at Steve-O. Nice finish there by Soleil. 130-90. We're getting close. Ong, nice dodge. Not sure why Ong was clear there, but either way, he continues to play. Sully beat. Steve-O beat as well. Judd in, Madrano in. This is uh, turning out to be a long game. This is nice catch by Saltzman. Nice beat by Saltzman. Wallace, Thura, pass. Nice finish by Kalen Eli. Just off the live stream, my apologies. Should be caught on, on cam though. Clear, pass goes up to Vershear, Vershear. Misses the long shot, dangerous decision. Soleil hustling, beats out Eli. Shot goes up, shot goes through. Steve-O and Fiona Riddell on Krager, 140 to 100, fog up. Ong beat, not sure what Unrao is calling for. Either way, Steve-O was left without a bludger around him. That's been happening. Those snitch shorts are very loose on him. It looks like Unrao's anger is about a possible throwback from Ong. Heat of the moment. Beaters have a tendency to roll back. I think the letter of the rule, because there was beater interaction... It would call the snitch no good if that is a call against Ong. Either way, Unrao ran past the Seekers. Catch was good. It is 175-100. Nice catch there by Steve-O on his moment alone. Wallace tapped out by Madrano and Ong. Madrano and Ong with bludger control. Right tapped out. Unrao marking Ong. Not going to let him get the blind side beat. Fog only needs two more goals. And Bridge Up's going. Bridge Up up. Nice passing around. No good. Judd has it. Passes back to Bridge Up. Going to reset the offense. One bludger on the northern light side. Madrano and Ong weighing their options. Pass goes up to... And that's a hat trick for Anchetta, but for Shear is sprinting. There's two bludgers in his way. Oh, was the goal called no good? Oh, yeah, goal was called no good. Anchetta was off broom. Nice beating there by Unrao. Nice beating there by Ong. Judd has it. There's a Blanchard. Not able to stop. Judd threw a whole lot of people, brought down by three different lights players. Wallace has it. Wallace slowing it up, sees Bludger control in his way, not going to sprint into danger. It is still 175 100. Anchetta's goal was called off because she was beat before. Wallace weighing his options. Riddell and Brayer in the backfield. Let's see if they take advantage of the space back there. Force Madrano and Ong to turn around. Not going to do that. Passes up to Vershear. Elman has him. Pass out to Riddell. Riddell bobbles it. Cleared. Jaime has an open field. Gets pass. Oh, nice beat there by Blanchard. Ong in the way. Mid-range shot. Good. Great decision there by Vershear. 175 to 110. Fog up. Judd has to touch the ball. Doesn't want to give a quick turnover. Subs out for Howard. Howard, Bridstrup, Ailman, Anchetta. Quaffle line for Fogg. Ong and Beeler beating. Up against Riddell. Stevenson. Nice. Oh, nice block there by Ong. Beats out Unrao. 
Howard passes into the backfield. Anchetta has it. Passes to Bridstrup. Bridstrup. Feet in the act of shooting. We'll see which one comes first. Brer Vershear, Riddell, Stevenson. Quaffle line for Northern Lights in these closing minutes. Unround Blanchard beating. It's going to be a judgment call. Goal is good. Anchetta doesn't get the ball in her hands very often, but when she does, it usually converts to a goal. I believe that's two goals and assist for her on the day. One goal needed for Falk yeah. to finish up this long running game. 185, 110. Fog on match point. Blanchard and Unrow looking to get Bledger control back from Beeler and Ong. Nice attempt, but Unrow's tapped out. Hellman tapped out. Stevenson in the backfield. Brayer weighing her options. I like this pass behind, but goes back up top. Byers, no good, no good. Great hands from Bridgestrup and Howard. Nice recovery by Elman. Bludger control recovered. Mendelssohn and Blanchard have it. Watch Elman on this play. Howard gonna be looking for him. Howard goes. Protected by Ugo. Nice attempt there by Beeler. Pass to Jaime. Jaime fires. A lot of refs are saying that went through. Howard called the play before it even started. Nice capitalization. Alman knew exactly what he had to do. That is 195 to 110 final score. Now we've got three teams at 3-1. I will let other people do math, and we will be back shortly with bracket play. It's going to be Aftershock versus whoever the one seed is. Hey!